So the first thing we need to do is configure the breathalyzer. So to do that, launch this icon. And you want to look for detected. So detected means that you have your breathalyzer plugged into the USB port and the software has found it successfully. Then go ahead and enter your registration code if you have one. And down here we can customize it a little bit. Let's put in our zip code. And also for the stock feature, any particular stocks you would like to track. Okay. Everything else is already set up. Um, some things you can change if you want to turn on tweeting of your breathalyzer results. By default, that's turned off. And um, if you want to link that to your Twitter account, you can go here. Okay, so now I've linked my um, Twitter account to this particular program. So when I do a breathalyzer, it will automatically tweet my results. Again, you can turn that off right here. But for now, let's leave that on. These are the breathalyzer calibration um, numbers. You can leave those alone and uh, tweak them later if you want. And if you leave this checked, it will display the the raw data coming in from the alcohol sensor. For right now, let's just leave that on. And then go ahead and click Save. So now let's run the breathalyzer. So here's the breathalyzer running in PC mode. So you can see over in the top right, that is the raw data coming in from the alcohol sensor. We can turn that off later. So for right now, let's go ahead and take two readings. We'll take the first one. Blow, matey. Take this first reading without any alcohol. We be setting sail on this cruise. Shiver me timbers, me hearty be drinking no booze. And then let's take another reading with some alcohol. Blow, matey. Have I asked you, matey, that be enough for you. Save some for the crew. So that tweet, the little bird that went there, that's the Twitter bird. That just lets you know visually that a tweet was sent. So in this case, we sent two tweets. So let's go ahead and check our Twitter account. Uh, let's refresh the page. And these are the two tweets that we just sent. So in addition to the breathalyzer, there's a few other features that you get when you're running uh, in PC mode. Here's the weather readout. Aye, matey. The seas be getting a wee bumpy. You can also change the character. There's four characters, so just turn the knob to change the character. Let's do the weather again. Gray skies your future holds. Bring a coat or you'll be cold. Here is the stock readout, and let's change the character <gasps> again. You know, buying high and selling low isn't a good strategy. Here's a tip. Try pulling your head out of your ass. And there's also custom audio mode, a text-to-speech mode, which is kind of fun. So in the configuration program, you can actually just write in text what you want it to say, and it'll say it using text-to-speech. You look great. Have you lost some weight? Okay, and last but not least, there is a photo booth feature. So if you flip the toggle switch. Photo booth. Now we are in photo booth mode. So as you can see, you need a webcam. Let me go ahead and start the photo booth. Get ready, please. Say provolone. You can change this character as well. Say pickles. Program. Say silly sausages. And if you have your printer set up, it will print the photo strip as well. Nice pictures. And you typically want to use a 4x6 photo paper, and it will look just like that on the photo strip printout. Thank you. 
do come again. Okay, now we're done. So just flip the toggle switch and we're back to the normal mode.